In a universe where reality defies imagination, lies a mystery that transcends time and space. Spontaneous healing, a phenomenon that has eluded the greatest minds. Imagine a world where diseases vanish as if by magic, where the unexplained becomes reality. This enigma, cloaked in the shadows of history and spirituality, challenges the very fabric of medical science. From the mystical sands of Egypt to the serene yoga studios of the future, the quest for answers spans civilizations and galaxies. Prepare to embark on an extraordinary odyssey, a journey that defies the boundaries of belief, weaving through the tapestry of spirituality, history, and advanced scientific frontiers. Strap in, open your mind to the impossible. Join us on this interstellar voyage to uncover the secrets of spontaneous healing. Our journey begins in the annals of history, where spontaneous healing has been documented across different cultures. From the ancient civilizations of Egypt and Greece to the spiritual landscapes of India and China, the concept of spontaneous healing has been interwoven into their cultural fabric. In Egypt and Greece, spirituality was an integral part of their healing practices. They believed in the divine intervention of gods and goddesses, who could bestow health and wellness upon their worshippers. Temples often served as sanctuaries for healing, where the sick sought divine favor for their ailments. In the East, India's Ayurvedic medicine, yoga and meditation practices embrace the concept of life force or prana. They believe this vital energy, when balanced, can foster spontaneous healing. Mantras and rituals too have been used to invoke the healing energies of the universe. China, with its rich tradition in herbal medicine and acupuncture, also holds strong beliefs in the body's innate ability to heal. The concept of qi or life energy, central to traditional Chinese medicine, is believed to be the driving force behind spontaneous healing. During the Middle Ages, spiritual healing became intertwined with religious beliefs. Prayers, relics and even alchemy were viewed as potential catalysts for spontaneous healing. This period also saw the emergence of Christian science which posited that illness was an illusion that could be corrected by prayer alone. Fast forward to the 20th century we witnessed the rise of modern spiritual healing practices. Techniques like Reiki and Pranic healing, emphasizing energy healing, became popular. Figures like Edgar Cayce and Louise Hay contributed significantly to the understanding and acceptance of these practices. And now, in the 21st century we see a fusion of spiritual and alternative healing techniques with modern psychology and science. Practices like crystal healing, aromatherapy, and chakra balancing draw from various cultural and spiritual traditions continuously evolving in our modern healthcare landscape. These ancient wisdoms serve as the foundation for our understanding of spontaneous healing. They remind us of the profound interconnectedness between the mind, body, and spirit, and their collective role in wellness and healing. Moving forward in time, we encounter baffling medical cases that defy conventional explanation. Let's delve into a few such instances. Imagine a patient, diagnosed with a life-threatening illness, suddenly finds their condition inexplicably improved, baffling their medical team. Or consider an individual with chronic pain, who wakes up one day to find their discomfort completely vanished. These are not mere anomalies but documented occurrences in medical history that leave experts scratching their heads. Here are a few examples. In Bruno Klopfer's riveting account from 1957, we dive into the extraordinary story of Mr. Wright and his battle with advanced lymphosarcoma. Facing imminent death, Mr. Wright clings to hope upon hearing about a new drug, Krebiosin. Despite not qualifying for clinical trials, his persistent belief in this drug leads Dr. West to administer it. Astonishingly, Mr. Wright's tumors significantly recede, and he recovers, attributing his miracle to Krebiosin. However, when reports emerge doubting the drug's efficacy, Mr. Wright's condition deteriorates, only to briefly recover again through Dr. West's placebo intervention. This tale underscores the potent influence of belief and hope in medical outcomes. Another instance involves Stomatis Moritis's remarkable spontaneous healing. His journey begins with a grim diagnosis of terminal lung cancer in the U.S., with only nine months to live. Rejecting treatment, he chooses to return to his Greek homeland, Ikaria, to live his final days. There, embraced by the warmth of his community, Reconnecting with his faith and immersing himself in a tranquil, natural lifestyle, Stomatis experiences an extraordinary turnaround. 
His health improbably improves, leading him to outlive not only his prognosis but also his doctors, reaching the venerable age of 102. And finally, in the intriguing case detailed by George Engel in the Annals of Internal Medicine, we encounter a haunting tale from the Okafenoki Swamp, where a midwife's ominous prophecy overshadows the lives of three girls born on Friday the 13th. This story unfolds with a sense of foreboding as the first two girls tragically pass away near their 16th and 21st birthdays, aligning eerily with the midwife's predictions. The focus then shifts to the third girl, consumed by fear as her 23rd birthday approaches, leading to a distressing climax that chillingly fulfills the midwife's grim prophecy. This case poignantly illustrates the powerful interplay between belief, psychology and health outcomes. These cases challenge our understanding of healing, and hint at the untapped potential of the human body. As we delve deeper into the science of healing, let's explore the field of psychoneuroimmunology. This fascinating branch of science examines the intricate dance between our psychological processes and the nervous and immune systems. It's like a symphony where our thoughts, emotions, and mental states play the music that our body dances to. Imagine a stressful situation, maybe a looming deadline or a heated argument. Your heart races, your palms get sweaty. That's your body responding to your mind's stress signals. Now think about how chronic stress, constant worry, or relentless negative thoughts might affect your body in the long run. Not so good, right? But it's not all doom and gloom. The flip side is that positive mental states like happiness, calmness, and optimism can also influence our physical health. They can reduce stress hormones, lower blood pressure, and even boost our immune system. It's like a natural healing mechanism right within us, orchestrated by our thoughts and emotions. So, psychoneuroimmunology is not just about understanding disease, it's also about tapping into our innate potential for well-being. It's a reminder that our minds are powerful allies in our journey towards health. This branch of science offers intriguing insights into the mind-body connection in healing. The mind-body connection, a concept once considered esoteric, is now gaining scientific acceptance. This connection suggests that our thoughts, feelings, beliefs, and attitudes can positively or negatively affect our biological functioning. In other words, our minds can influence the health of our bodies. Consider the concept of the placebo effect. It's a phenomenon where patients show improvements simply because they believe they are receiving treatment. Even if that treatment is inactive or a sham, it's not the treatment itself that causes the improvement, but the patient's belief in its effectiveness. The mind, in essence, tricks the body into healing itself. This demonstrates the power of positive thinking and how our beliefs can influence our physical health. Our minds create perceptions that result in chemical changes in our bodies. Positive beliefs can lead to beneficial biological responses, while negative beliefs can lead to harmful responses. This mind-body interaction impacts our health and well-being, and it's a key aspect of spontaneous healing. Moreover, emerging sciences such as quantum biophysics and epigenetics reveal that by changing our thoughts, we can change our reality. Our bodies respond to the messages sent by the brain, whether they are positive or negative. This interaction between the mind and body is a powerful tool that, when harnessed correctly, can lead to significant improvements in health and wellness. The power of the mind over the body is a fascinating and crucial aspect of spontaneous healing. The belief in our ability to heal can be a self-fulfilling prophecy, and understanding this connection can open up new possibilities for health and healing. Beyond science, spiritual and religious beliefs offer their own interpretations of spontaneous healing. The spiritual realm has been a source of solace and explanation for life's mysteries, including the phenomenon of spontaneous healing for millennia. These interpretations often hinge on the concept of a higher power or divine intervention, and are deeply rooted in faith and the human instinct to seek meaning in the inexplicable. Religious texts from around the world contain accounts of miraculous healings, often attributed to divine intervention or the power of faith. From the biblical accounts of Jesus healing the sick, to similar narratives in the Quran, Hindu scriptures and other religious texts, these stories have shaped our collective understanding of the potential for spontaneous healing. In parallel, modern spiritual movements offer fresh perspectives on this age-old phenomenon. Many of these contemporary interpretations focus on the power of the human spirit and its connection to the universe. They propose that our thoughts, emotions, and intentions can directly influence our physical health, and that by harnessing this power, we can instigate our own healing. Spiritual and religious explanations for spontaneous healing are as varied as the belief systems they stem from. 
Some attribute such healing to divine intervention or the power of prayer, while others highlight the role of personal spiritual growth, the power of positive thinking, or the influence of universal energy. These spiritual perspectives add another dimension to our understanding of spontaneous healing. They remind us that healing is not just a physical process but a deeply personal journey that encompasses our mind, body, and spirit. Lastly, we turn to alternative and complementary therapies, often seen as the bridge between traditional and modern medicine. These therapies, while diverse in their approaches, share a common thread. They aim to stimulate the body's innate healing capabilities. Take acupuncture, for instance. This ancient Chinese practice involves the insertion of thin needles at specific points in the body to balance energy flow, or qi. Many believe that this balance is key to spontaneous healing. Then we have homeopathy, a system of natural medicine that uses highly diluted substances to trigger the body's self-healing response. Homeopaths suggest that their remedies work on an energetic level, perhaps even aiding in spontaneous recovery. Lastly, let's touch on Reiki, a Japanese technique for stress reduction and relaxation that also promotes healing. Practitioners of Reiki believe that they can channel healing energy into a patient, potentially sparking spontaneous healing. While scientific understanding of these therapies is still evolving, countless anecdotes and some emerging research suggest they may play a role in facilitating spontaneous healing. These therapies, while not fully understood, have shown potential in facilitating spontaneous healing. As our journey concludes, let's reflect on the enigma of spontaneous healing. We've traveled from ancient civilizations to modern hospitals, exploring how unexplained recoveries have occurred across cultures and eras. We've delved into medical case studies, where the human body displayed an inexplicable resilience and healing capacity. We've examined the intriguing field of psychoneuroimmunology, revealing the profound interaction between the mind, nervous system, and immune response. We've discovered how our thoughts, emotions, and beliefs can shape our physical health, introducing concepts like the placebo effect and the power of positive thinking. We've ventured into the realm of spirituality and religion, where spontaneous healing is often seen as divine intervention or the work of a higher power. We've also considered the role of alternative therapies, suggesting that practices like acupuncture, Reiki, or homeopathy could contribute to spontaneous healing. While spontaneous healing remains a mystery, it undoubtedly opens new horizons for understanding the human body and its incredible healing potential. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey into the mystical world of spontaneous healing. We hope that this exploration has sparked your curiosity and opened your mind to the incredible healing potential within us all. We've traversed through historical accounts, medical mysteries, mind-body connections, spiritual beliefs, and alternative therapies. Each has offered unique and intriguing insights into the phenomenon of spontaneous healing. The journey of understanding is ongoing. As we learn more about the human body, our minds, and our spirits, we continue to unlock the mysteries of our own healing potential. We invite you to continue this journey with us, exploring the unknown, asking questions, and seeking answers. Remember, the power of healing might just be within you, waiting to be discovered. Thank you for watching. Stay curious, stay open, and keep exploring. Until next time, keep the flame of discovery burning bright.